The United Kingdom is made up of four countries. England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. England is the biggest country and has a population of over 50 million. Northern Ireland is the smallest and has a population of fewer than 2 million. Scotland's population is a lot smaller than England's, at just over 5 million. But the country has got some of the most beautiful scenery in the UK. Scotland has got the tallest mountain in the UK, Ben Nevis, and the deepest lake, Loch Mora, as well as historic castles, amazing beaches, and a dramatic coastline. But there's much more to Scotland than beautiful countryside. It's also got some of the most exciting and important cities in the UK. Glasgow is the largest city in Scotland. It's an important city for business and culture, with some great modern architecture. Edinburgh isn't as big or as modern as Glasgow, but it's the capital city of Scotland and it's the top destination for international visitors to the country. Around one and a half million international visitors come to Edinburgh every year. So what do international visitors think about the country? What's Scotland like? I came to Scotland last week. I've been here about a week so far. It's gorgeous. The countryside's beautiful. Edinburgh's stunning and the people are really friendly and the food's great. It's miserable. Well, firstly, I really like sunny weather and it's just, it's grey here all the time. I think it's a very nice place, a lot of young people, many parties, the university is great. I really like it. How different is Scotland from your home country? It's a lot colder <laughs> than where I'm from. I don't know, just the people are a lot nicer here than in Germany. The people are very polite here, whereas back home it's not as... Not as nice, yeah, very friendly. What's the best thing about Scotland? Best thing about Scotland? Uh, I think maybe the landscape, the, yeah, the mountains, the highlands. In summer, it's like there's some really gorgeous light, you know, um, in the, you know, the summer it stays light a really long time and that's nice. I think that people are willing to share cultural differences, which for me is interesting, so. The atmosphere is something I love. And the worst thing about Scotland? The weather. <laughs> it's really cold compared to Spain. Um, cold. I hate the rain, it's windy, and I don't like the food apart from fish and chips. <laughs>it is part of the United Kingdom. Scotland has its own government, which meets at the modern parliament buildings in Edinburgh. People from Scotland are called Scots. Over the past 400 years, hundreds of thousands of Scots have left to live in countries around the world. Generations on, many of the families of these emigrants still feel a strong connection to Scotland, and they often return to the country to visit. Scots have got their own vocabulary. For example, small is we, a lake is a loch, and a child is a bairn. Sometimes, even English people find it hard to understand Scots when they're speaking English, as they can have strong accents. So, what are the Scots like? Very friendly. They're funny to understand, some speak funny. Pretty bubbly, friendly. Uh, often very loud. Uh, very friendly, very welcoming. I'd say Scotland was more, feels more like a wee community. 
compared to England. The most popular tourist attraction in Edinburgh is the castle, and it's one of the oldest buildings in the city. There's been a castle here for nearly a thousand years. Edinburgh Castle stands on Castle Rock and has got amazing views over the city and across to the River Forth. But once a year, the castle isn't the centre of attraction. And many people agree on the best time to visit the city. Summer during the Fringe Festival, absolutely amazing. Oh, Edinburgh yeah, Festival. Yeah, come for the festival. There's lots of things happening, street artists and different kind of shows on and stuff in the theatres, it's good. Every year, in August, the city holds the biggest arts festival in the world, the Edinburgh Festival. It's the most exciting time to visit Edinburgh. And the city is busier in August than at any other time of the year. Edinburgh's population of 450,000 people doubles, and the city becomes the cultural capital of the world. The festival began in 1947, and is a three-week celebration of art, music, theater, film, dance, and comedy. During the festival, there are performances all over the city. Over 30,000 performers come to the city to work in over 2,000 shows. The most popular shows are comedy, but there's something for everyone. Edinburgh isn't a cheap city, and everything gets even more expensive in August. Luckily, there are a lot of free shows during the festival, from music and magic to street theatre. And there's so much to do that people come back year after year.